hockey techniques videos uh, we're going to do a small small clip here just working on a technique that's going to help you with multiple skills from slide by move slide under move saucer passing cycling passing in general and first just got to get a stick and we'll get started all right uh, today we're going to work on spinning the puck we got a nice puck it's got a black mark on the top with a white logo so you'll be able to see the movement of the puck uh, when doing slide by moves or slide under moves we want to achieve a spin on the puck so the puck is going to travel from the heel of the stick to the toe heel to toe so you can see how the top of the puck is spinning to do that my hands are out away from my body and as I spin from heel to toe, you can see I'm pulling the hands towards my body. Pulling the hands toward my body. And that gets a nice spin. Without the spin, if I just push the puck, the puck will tend to, on the ice, maybe not here in the dry land, but on the ice, go very far. For the same amount of effort, for the same amount of effort, you can see the puck doesn't travel as far and I'm able to place it where I need it to go. Now that we're ready for the drills, let's just do a basic drill. Um, the puck will move faster on the ice than it will on the dry land. Just keep that in mind. My first thing is I want to get my feet nice and wide. Nice and wide because right now I would be simulated being on the ice, make a move on someone in what we call more of a scoot step or more of a um, faking body posture where my feet are wide I'm able to get those toes up in the air as I'm making the move now I put the puck on the heel of the stick of the forehand side the stick is cupped hands are away from my body away from my body because as I spin I'm gonna pull my hands towards my body so once again a little bit faster pull the hands towards my body that allows the stick to come towards me, away from my opponent, and at the same time, if you watch the puck, the puck gets a spin, and I'm under control. That lands on my backhand side, same stuff. Once I've gone a couple times, I can add a little bit of body motion. And I can work on the forehand and backhand back and forth. And as I add the body motion, push off of the leg towards the other leg as if I was on the ice. Okay, one last thing before we conclude the video. It's very important to note the reason we're putting a spin on the puck. Because without a spin on the puck, two things are going to happen. If, say, I wanted to put the puck to the side of the defender and I go to the other side of the defender, the puck is going to travel most of the times too far. I have no control over how far it's going to go in the distance. And notice where my stick ends up. My stick is right inside where the defender's zone is and he can basically take me out of the play, take my stick out of the play. That last one, as opposed to this one with the spin, when I put the spin on that puck, you can see the stick, the blade of the stick comes into my body. That allows me to free myself up from the defender as I go in and around the defender. As well as, I have more control over how far the puck goes and the angle at which the puck goes. So as I make a move on that D, I'm right here and I'm pushing off the leg, you can see the puck stopped. It didn't go flying down the ice. Now, on the ice, the angle at which it was traveling, it would come right into where my skating lane would be as I drive around the defenseman. Sometimes in hockey, it's the small things that matter the most. And this is a small technique that can go a long way. So hopefully you work on this skill and you have some success. Please subscribe to our site. Visit our website if uh, you're looking for lessons or camps. Have a nice day.